Hello everyone. Uh, this is Leila. Uh, I'm actually the uh, senior consultant on machine learning and also business intelligence. I'm going to show you how we can use uh, Azure Machine Learning with Power BI and also using the Sendance, one of the one of the really good uh, custom visualization uh, component that exists in Power BI. Uh, first of all, I want to show you the model that I have in Azure ML. Uh, I'm going to predict that the people, I'm going to classify the people who are going to buy the specific insurance policy from the insurance company. So here is our data here that we have so you see that we have some demographic information about uh, the gender, real income, number of the children, and the other stuff. And also we are going to see that are they going to actually purchase the insurance or not. So this is a data set that we have from the past. It's about 9,000 rows and uh, 30 columns that the attribute that we have here. Uh, I'm using the clustering for training, so it's really simple. You see that I'm using the clustering algorithm to actually classify into the seven uh, cluster. And I'm going to show the result of this one into Power BI Desktop. So the result of the, this algorithm, this uh, run is about, is actually a date, is a Excel file. So, yep, so I've just downloaded the Excel file from here. So this is the one that I have. So you see that the result of the algorithm uh, actually is classify each of the, these people to the different uh, seven clusters. So this is the result of the uh, algorithm for the classification. Now I'm going to show you how we can use Sundance to actually have a better view than this in Power BI desktop. So this is a Power BI desktop environment. I'm going to uh, actually use the uh, customization from here. So to find some good uh, customization, I'm come to the Power BI desktop visualization component here. So you see that the address is here. I'm going to download this Sundance, actually a Microsoft uh, actually visualization component that is really awesome. I'm going to show you. So I just download this for visualization and then you can just click here and import it. So yep, this is the Sundance that I'm going to use. Okay, successfully import and also I'm going to get my data the time have so it's actually the one that the insurance buyer classification that already done by Azure ML so it's take time to I can get the data so yeah this is the data that I have I can just edit it and uh, import the parts that I'm really interested. I'm interested in this attribute, but maybe the uh, the uh, distance, the cluster are not that much interest to me. So I'm going to actually remove this one. So I'm going to delete some of the rows, some of the column that not necessary about the how was the distance to the cluster so they are not that much relevant I'm going to actually remove these column so yep this is a data that I'm interested in, and I'm close and apply to have them here now I'm going to use the Sundance component to show the how's the cluster happen here so I want to look at the some component like age like the cluster, like the education, gender, uh, or they have the honor, uh, or they have a house or not, the martial status, number of the car, uh, number of the children, their occupation, and also your income. Uh, I'm going to check that it's all not summarized, so I'm going to change the data to that to not be summarized 
first to because it will be affect on the visualization so yep so it seems okay okay so this is the Sundance environment that we have okay so I'm just going to make it more visible here so yep so I can uh, actually group by by different things so I'm going first group by them by the different cluster so you remember that in Azure ML uh, that I run we have actually seven cluster there so what I'm going to do actually to look at more so I'm said that I'm going to classify them as a cluster here and then I'm going to look at them by the education by also I want to color them by different gender so you can see how it's happened and also so you can also have a look at different things like uh, look at as a scatter one look at as a density the view and also as a stack chart that's become a actually a 3d vision and also you can say that you want to rotate this so it's provide a view that you can rotate the picture and have a better look and that uh, more of uh, that you can also create a video from the each inside so I'm create the one video here by clicking on the open the inside panel so I'm click the one then I'm going to create another view so I just a grid one and I want to look at the for example the martial status here so you can also select and also add in the second view more of that i'm going for example to uh look at the yearly income of the each people and i want to sort based on their age so this is another view that i want to look at as a column here and again i'm at here and finally you can also play the result you see that it's provided actually a video of the different reports that you created by Sand. And so you see that how it's possible to use the Azure ML results here. For now, I mean, just download the uh, from the actually here. So I've download here. The another possibility is that you use a reader or use a writer component here. Uh, yep, uh, yeah, as export data that you can actually move it to the Azure SQL database and then you can get it from the here. So there is also one automation available here. I hope that you enjoyed the, this talk and thank you.